Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a huge Target haul. Target has come out with so many good fall transitional pieces and I got a little carried away. So I'm like, at least if I turn it into a haul, I can make an excuse for everything I purchased. I do plan on keeping quite a bit of this because one, I'm just really over the fall trends from last year. Like, I don't know, I feel like we've had the same trends for a couple years in a row and it finally like is starting to feel fresh like the trends are starting to feel fresh to me again so I really think I'm going to cycle some old pieces out of my closet and move some more new pieces in and a lot of these I think are going to find a spot in my closet so I do have to kind of run through this quickly because I have to go get Knox off the bus because today was his first day of kindergarten yeah I'm a little unwell over it but I'm really really proud of him he was really excited um, although this morning was a bit chaotic and just like I don't know emotions were running high Anyway, I'm really excited to see how his day went. So I'm gonna be watching the clock and just making sure that I'm not leaving him hanging at the end of the driveway. Let's go ahead and jump right into everything. The first piece that I grabbed was this little basic tank. This is a double layered tank and it's in this really like gorgeous, buttery matte fabric. I have pretty much this identical tank that I got from Nordstrom for twice the price of this. This honestly feels like the same exact quality. It's very smoothing, got it in my true size. I think it fits true to size and it is such a dream. It also comes in black and it comes in a metallic. The metallic is like a totally different fit and feel so I'm not even sure why it's like categorized as the same thing but the white and black one I could definitely recommend. With that tank, I paired it up with a couple pairs of cargo pants and these Levi's cargo jeans being one of those. I got these in a size 25. So the waist is a little bit big, but I really, really loved all the cargo detail going on on these. The length on these was also great for sneakers or flats. They were not too long. They have these little strings at the bottom, so you can kind of turn them into a jogger, but I just liked leaving them, and I like like the coolness of having these strings at the bottom. I don't know, just a little extra detail. And I absolutely loved the back of these. These were so flattering. The pockets are nice and high, so even though these are a mid-rise jean and they're a looser fit, they're still very flattering on your bum and I found them really comfortable. Levi's tend to be a little bit more of like a stiffer true denim so these are exactly that but because they were a looser fit still really really comfy. Also with that white tank I paired it with this little Levi denim skirt. Now you guys probably know I love the denim maxi skirt trend. I know that was one trend that was last year but I feel like it was more of like a fitted silhouette last year and now it's like a looser fit which I can totally get down with. So I absolutely love this Levi's denim skirt. I love that it has a slit on one side. It comes up like just above your knees so I feel like it's a nice like height. It doesn't come up too high. This would be so stinking cute with sneakers and a t-shirt. So many different ways to style this though and I felt like the bum on this was very flattering. I got this in a size 24 and it fit me perfectly. I also really love the wash of this. I feel like it's a really nice light wash denim. One of the other things I really love is this distressing along the bottom. It's like an unfinished hem. Absolutely beautiful and it's like a bit softer and thinner, so it's really, really comfy. This one's definitely a keeper for me. Okay, and the other cargo pants that I was talking about are these, which are by Wild Fable. I grabbed them in two colors. I think I'm gonna start off with just keeping these charcoal ones because I feel like I'll wear them more. This is more of like a spring color, so I think I may swap them out for a darker color or just keep these. I don't need two of everything that I like, and I need to remind myself that, but I love all the detail on these. First of all, really nice lightweight material so a great transitional piece into fall something that you're not going to be super hot in but definitely transitioning out of like shorts and shorter dresses things like that these would be perfect for uh while it's still pretty you know warm but i love the little cargo detail on the leg the length of these is perfect i could get away with like a little platform sneaker and again i'm 5'4 so i feel like that was really good length these are more of like a mid to low rise but still very flattering and i personally would wear these probably with like an oversized t-shirt kind of like side tucked into my bra so none of like my belly would be showing just because these are too low for me to like want to show my tummy does that make sense it's just not the most flattering look on me but the bum on these is really really flattering I don't know there's something about the way that the seam is in the back that even though they're like puffy and loose they're still really flattering and cute so quick close-up on the blue ones you kind of see like the seam detailing a little bit better on these 
they're really good guys and they're super affordable and I got them in my true size extra small and they fit great next up I have the viral target jeans people are comparing these to much more expensive and even designer jeans so I grabbed them in two colors I got them in a size zero and they fit perfectly I absolutely love that these are a high rise straight leg not too loose not too tight jean they're really comfortable because they do offer some stretch you guys these are on sale right now for under 25 dollars, which i cannot even believe but even at full price they're 36 so i feel like in comparison to designer jeans or more expensive brands and just getting a good pair of denim in general i feel like is really hard to do under 80 dollars. so very very happy with these i got them in this nice light wash they do have really great length to them so if you are taller these would be a really good option um, i was able to wear them with like a three inch heel and they were still like pretty much to the floor keep that in mind but you also could have them hemmed or you could do like a straight cut along the bottom and wash them for like an unfinished hem on the bottom if you are like shorter that's what i do a lot of the times i'll just cut them straight across the bottom and then wash them and the threads will kind of come out so it looks intentional but then you can get them the length that you want so anyway this is the other dark color that i got it's like almost like a black wash um it's kind of a unique color to be honest with you but these would be nice to like dress up a little bit because they do look you know dressier than your average blue denim Next up, I got a couple of basic tops. Let's start off with this little gray one. It is kind of like crop, but it's one of those crops that just meets like your high-waisted pants. So really nice because there's not a lot of tucking in involved whatsoever, if any. And it's a really nice ribbed material. This comes in a bajillion colors, but I loved this heathered gray. Just a good classic basic. I got it in my true size. It fit perfectly. This neckline is so feminine, and I like that it's a scoop in the back as well. So this one, definitely a keeper for me. Absolutely love it, and may explore even getting another color. Next basic tee that I got is actually an active tee. This is by the brand All In Motion, which is their activewear brand, and I love the fabric of this it's like a stretchy lightweight ribbed material I love the cut of this how it kind of drops down a little bit in the front got it in my true size it fits perfectly this one is a bit more sheer like the gray one isn't sheer at all I mean it's kind of meant for like wearing a sports bra underneath and it's white so it is a bit thinner but this would be great for when you're actually working out but also would just be really cute paired up with a pair of jeans and like a nude bra something like a seamless bra underneath because um, it is like really really comfy just a good lightweight basic Next up, I got this cardigan, and I picked this up in a size large because I wanted it to be really oversized, really big, chunky, cozy feeling, and that is exactly what it was giving. I'm obsessed with this. I absolutely love the cable knit detail on this. They had it in gray, black, and I want to say one other color, maybe more, and it's just a really good quality. And I know everyone's wondering, is it itchy? I did not find it itchy, and I'm very picky. Next up, I have this little cardigan, which I just thought was the cutest cutest top you guys but also I ended up untying it at the end like completely untying it just letting the strings hang I only have my bra on that's why I didn't take a picture of it or anything but it looked really cute just thrown over as a cardigan I feel like with a fitted white tank underneath or like bodysuit and jeans it would be such a cool just like interesting way to wear it um but i thought it was adorable tied up as well i do feel like this would be more of like a date night top or something for me but maybe i could wear something underneath a little white crop something like that underneath um to make it a bit more modest but the quality of this sweater is so good it's this beautiful ribbed material it's super soft and stretchy like very soft and comfy and they have this in a couple colors I did size up to a size small. I'm glad I did. I feel like the extra small would have just been like too suck tight. So very happy with this. Absolutely loved it. Another active wear piece that I grabbed is this Joy Labs little quarter zip. And I got this in size extra small. I love the way it fit. I like this brown color, although they have other colors. So I'm almost like, I don't know. They have this really pretty like poppy red shade and I kind of want that one for some reason it's like calling my name but they had it in cream and black as well but I just felt like this would be a really nice something to kind of throw on with my leggings before the gym something a little bit more I don't know like put together than just my oversized overworn sweatshirts that I usually put on I really liked this I like the seam detailing in the back it reminds me of Lululemon and the quality of this is great it's a really nice terry material on the inside it's not too heavy of a weight and I just I really really love it all right I have to run down and get Knox.
and I'll be back to finish this haul. I'm back. I just grabbed Knox and we hung out for a minute. Um, by the way, if you see this tag sticking out, it's because this is part of the haul and I wanted to keep the tag on so that I can gather all the links and everything. I do think I'm keeping this, by the way. I just was not sure if I wanted to keep this color because it also comes in like a, I don't know, orangey gold color. So anyway, in case you're wondering why I have a tag sticking out. Um, I also feel like I just got a stain on it though while I was in the car. I didn't eat anything. I didn't. I don't understand, uh, but I'm pretty sure I could get it out with a Tide pen, so I'll probably just keep this color because I do love it, which I'll get to this, but let's get back into the other pieces. The next piece that I grabbed was this big oversized sweatshirt. Now, I say it's big and oversized, but I got it in a size large, so I think it would just be like slightly like relaxed in your regular size, but I absolutely loved, again, just this heathered gray. I'm such a sucker for the heathered gray, and I really liked that this was a little bit more lightweight. It is like a plush kind of fleece on the inside, but it's like more lightweight. It's not stiff. It's really, really comfortable, soft, easy to tuck in in any way if you wanted to do like a front tuck or a bra tuck or whatever. Oh, I honestly think I might go back for a medium because this was so oversized that I don't know. I just feel like it might have been a little too oversized for me. This next piece is by the Future Collective brand, which is one of my favorite brands that Target carries. And I feel like for a while they hadn't come out with really much like new stuff at all. But they just came out with a new fall collection and the stuff is so good, you guys. If you have any special events as well, I would definitely check out this brand because I did see quite a few cute little like dressier dresses. I absolutely loved this top. This looks like something you would find at Zara or Aritzia for like 80 plus dollars. And I got it in my true size. It was $30, you guys. It's got this beautiful like really soft buttery material at the top. It's all ruched so I didn't find I needed a bra with it. It also has adjustable straps as well which is great. And then this bottom part is like a windsuit material and it kind of has a different like finish to it. It's almost like a little bit shiny. Absolutely love it. I think this is such a cute top something you could kind of dress up, dress down. I paired that up with these little cargo pants by Universal Thread which I really really love these but I do need the next size down. I thought I could get away with the two because I wanted them to be like looser. And they have this little situation on the waist where you can adjust the button and make them a little bit tighter. So I did that on both sides thinking that was gonna be enough, but they just still looked too big. I feel like if I had a really fitted top on top, I could probably get away with the two because the waist is comfortable but the baggy on too baggy was not the vibe. So anyway, I do really, really love these. They came in a couple different colors. They're more subtle for a cargo pant. I feel like if you're not like into the cargo pant yet, but you wanna try out the trend, um, I feel like these would be a really good one to try out. And they the cute little like cargo pockets in the back. Very flattering, very comfortable. Just a good basic pair of cargo pants, honestly. But I would say probably go with your true size. Next up, I have this top. And again, I wish I had gotten this in my true size. I did size up to a small and I just feel like it was a little bit too big um, if I wanted to wear it alone. If you're gonna wear it over something like a lace long sleeve um, or a lace bodysuit or something like that, which I think would be really, really cute. And I think you could size up because it does have just kind of like a little bit of like a looser effortless feel but I wanted to wear mine on its own, even like without a bra underneath. So I think I am gonna swap it for an extra small, but I love the denim. It's really soft. I like the medium wash. I like the distressing and it's just like really cute little tie vest. Lots of different ways to style these though. You can wear them open, you can wear them tied, you can layer them with different things. And I feel like it looks definitely more expensive than it was. It was 25 bucks, so. Really good option, also comes in black. And then lastly, before I show this set, I have this dress and I just fell in love with how vintage this looks. I feel like this actually looks like something that you could get at like an antique store. And it reminds me of something that my mom probably had in her closet, but it's this beautiful little mini dress and it has this really like lightweight chiffon material over a lining and it's just, the silhouette is so nice and feminine. It does have like a little keyhole back where it ties, but it also came in another color. I just really liked the green, which kind of surprises me. I'm still conflicted though, because I loved the other color as well. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one or opt for the other color, but I definitely want one of them in my closet. I feel like this would be so cute with an oversized leather jacket and knee high boots. I did get this in my true size and I feel like it fit great. It's just like perfectly loose and effortless and really, really comfy. And lastly, this set, you guys, I had already purchased just this top months and months and months ago and I ended up returning it I think because I didn't I wasn't able to get it in my like true size 
Um, so when I saw it in my size, I was like, okay, I'm snatching that because I love this style top. And then they had the matching pants, which I am literally obsessed with. They fit so good. They look so expensive. They literally look like they would cost $100. If somebody said, yeah, these are $100 from Aritzia, I would absolutely believe them. This color is gorgeous. It's like a warm, like off-white. It's so pretty, so flattering. And the pants have really good length to them. I definitely could wear heels with them and they're still like brushing the floor. With that said, I may honestly get mine hemmed, but I think I'm gonna wash and dry them first to see what happens and go from there. But this set is a 10 out of 10. It's just so good. It's really comfy. It's good for like working at home, but it's also good to like dress up if you want as well. Also, if you don't want to show midriff, you can turn like the bottom, you know, out and you don't have to show anything, but I like to turn it up like this. Just a little, just a little thumbs up. That is absolutely it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite pieces were from today's video. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I hope you're all doing well. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you, I completely chopped my hair off. <laughs> I did not mention it at the start of this video. I recently cut my hair like my collarbone, which was like, I don't know, I only cut like two and a half inches off of it and I've had it that short before. And I just was feeling like, it wasn't like the vibe that I wanted. I wanted to do something kind of drastic. So I went back and had like another, I don't know, three inches maybe, two or three inches cut off. So all in all, I cut like five or six inches off my hair and my hair has never been this short. I went really short last June, but I was able to like put it in a ponytail and it was like <laughs> quite a bit more than that actually. And I didn't have like, these are short under here, very short, never had these pieces so short but I love it I think the short hair is here to stay for a little while before I even think about possibly growing it out I love this blunt just like short cut she literally just went blunt right across the bottom and I love it only thing I don't love about it is trying to put it up for the gym because I wear those big beats headphones so usually I like slick my hair back but I have this situation. So I've been just doing like a half up for the gym, which is fine. It's worth it because I do really like it. Okay, anyway, I love you guys. I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I am so into you and I can't explain And the thoughts that go on in my head, they make me say I am so into you